Well, hey YouTube, it's Alpha Sammo here. Hey, today we're gonna do a VR to my good friend Country Boy Prepper. Country Boy Prepper, I appreciate you sending me these bullets and uh, glad to do a ballistic gelatin test on your hunting loads that you're trying to come up with. Recently, Country Boy Prepper in a recent video was trying to come up with a hunting load for his 300 blackout and the bullet that he chose was a Pro Hunter Sierra 308 diameter 150 grain Spitzer and he loaded these rounds up and sent them to me to try to mimic what he's doing trying to uh, come up with a hunting load so um, I'll put a link to his video in the description below so you can see the video and what he's trying to attempt to do but in the end of that video he was trying to capture this bullet in water using jugs of water and uh, as some of us know it's difficult to capture these bullets and sometimes uh, even using ballistic gelatin we can't always capture the bullets but we can certainly see what kind of wound channel that we get in the ballistic gelatin so um, that's what I'm gonna do today is uh, I'm gonna shoot these loads in the ballistic gelatin and see what kind of wound channel we get out of it and so that's the bullet that he's using he's using a, uh, a pro hunter sierra 308 diameter 150 grain spitzer and it just has a flat bottom on it and uh, the load that he's that he sent me was 20.3 grains of accurate 1680 there's the information on that bullet That's what he loaded it at. And uh, he also sent me 22 grains, which is the maximum that the Hornady book shows for 1680 with this bullet. 22 grains for this 150 grain bullet. Um, so uh, I already done the chronographing. Um, sun's going down fast, losing daylight. So I went ahead and shot on the chronograph, and uh, this is uh, this is what I got on the chronograph. If we can get that into focus. So, so 20.3 greens give me over the maximum that he got for his maximum out of his 8-inch barrel. So. 1935 and 1952, 1,935 feet per second, 1,952 feet per second. With this maximum load um, in the Hornady book, the 22 grains, um, they show a maximum velocity of 2,050 feet per second, which I was almost dead on in my 14 and a half inch one and eight twist hardened arms barrel that's what i'm going to be using today because i don't have an eight inch barrel like he has so that's the uh the background information right there uh so i think uh even though at 1935 1952 feet per second i think uh even though this is a hundred feet per second over what your max is country boy um, I think we'll have a good idea of what this round will do in the ballistic gelatin um, now in my experience and I don't want to prejudge the, uh, the the end results here but in my experience with soft tip bullets like these at, uh, at the velocities that we're shooting these at um, they, uh, they, they may not, you know, you may not get 
you know, expansion like you would see in a full-on uh, hollow point or something like that. But what they tend to do, in my experience, is they kind of flower out at the very tip and uh, maybe not expand to the maximum uh, diameter of the bullet. Um, and that's just in my experience, but what it does is, you know, as that tip flowers, it really does send, you know, a, a much larger wake as the bullet goes into the soft target. Um, so, it, it just, so you, you end up getting like an exaggerated wound channel, which is not at all bad, okay? So that's, that's just my experience, you know, in the ballistic gelatin using bullets. Of, of this style and uh, and even uh, you know uh, of this style at these speeds alright these are slower speeds compared to 2500 feet per second and up kind of thing so anyway but I think that uh, I think that they'll probably do pretty well um, you know for you know getting you know a deer for instance but that's what we're going to find out so, oh, and the next thing, uh, thank you very much for my 300 blackout. Country Boy Prepper sent me an actual 300 blackout mag. Look at that. As a gift for doing this test for him, and I very much appreciate that. I would have never bought one of these. I've thought about them many times, and... Uh, you know, I use my Gen 3 P mags, um, and they seem to work pretty well. Um, and I never had a 300 blackout magazine. I really appreciate that, country boy. You all right? <laughs> so, thank you very much for my for my P mag. Um, let's go ahead and uh, and test these out and see what we get. I, and I'll tell you what, if we if we have any time left over, you know, enough light, that kind of thing, maybe I'll go ahead and shoot um, a cast bullet and just kind of compare the difference with the cast bullet versus, you know, a soft point. So, here we go. Alright, my first shot's... Um, this is going to be fired out of a 14 and a half inch barrel. And uh, we already know how many feet per second we're going. Country Boy Prepper hunting load. Yep, we captured that one. We definitely got expansion. Oh, I think we did. Oh boy, yeah, it exited out of the side. Ah, crap. Um, we do have a nice, uh, Yeah, uh, okay, I'm gonna fire another shot. It's uh, it was a, a big old nice fish looking wound in there. We'll look at it in a minute. Fire another shot. Here we go.
think we stopped that one. Nope. Ah, crap. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it exited. It exited and hit my... It went right through 16 inches of ballistic gel. Uh, I'm sorry, 32 inches of ballistic gel. And my backstop got chipped up pretty good right here. Big old piece of wood. So... It went uh, all the way through and come out the back corner. Um, I'll let you see the wound channel here. Okay, so here's what we got. The uh, bullet, the first one, entered right there. And it goes straight down. And right here at uh, nine inches, it expanded into this fish-like thing, which looks good. So you actually got some expansion at nine inches, right? And then it continued through, and it looks like this wound right here, it looked like maybe the what was left of the bullet maybe rolled maybe right here where it opened up again, and it actually came out. Um, heh, I'm not showing you. <laughs> okay, there's your, there's your fish-like wound. And then right here, it looks like it opened up or flipped or something like that. That's probably it. Uh, or at this point, the bullet is deformed, so you got expansion to here. And then what's left of the bullet come out of the hole right here, uh, right there on the side of the gel where my finger is right there so we'll show you again the first bullet went in there made this um, it either did a flip or expanded right here um, and the expansion right there was uh, probably I'd say an inch and a half because it's turned inside of there and uh, and then what was left of the bullet, it either rolled over, flipped, or was and created another wound channel here. So from nine to sixteen, you have this um, inch and a half wound channel, and uh, and then this. Sorry, it's getting dark out here, guys. And then came out right there and then the uh, this one behind here that that silver that you're seeing right there is the second bullet all right and what it did was it didn't expand until it got to about 15 inches and then it made a, a, a fish like wound channel just like you see here um, except for it might be a tiny bit smaller so there was some inconsistency but it did the same thing it made this silver like streak where it flattened or flipped or whatever the remnants except for this one was at about 15 inches before it expanded on the second shot and then it came out right here the very corner of the back of the gel so it went it went through 16 inches of ballistic gelatin and uh, as it was going through there it obviously turned a little bit and you can see right here my backstop I have a, a pad of books taped together and then it hit this piece of wood right here in the corner and uh, so it had some steam when it come out to make that dent inside that uh, header you see that don't that don't look bad, country boy. I mean, you know, right here at nine inches, um, you got some expansion, but it did wait for nine inches to do. Um, so, you know, that that it's a possibility. I wouldn't say it's a bad load, but um, you know, with with a hundred feet per second less, um, I got a feeling that the expansion will wait a little bit longer. 
if it expands or whatever damages it's going to do might wait longer sometimes these slower bullets like to just kind of push their way right through the ballistic gelatin um, on so all right so uh, for the sake of time and uh, daylight running out of daylight running out of time video is going a little bit long I decided to um, not shoot the other um, cast loads since I already have a video on it so what I'll do is if you want to see some incredible expansion with your 300 blackout at 1650 feet per second or 1700 feet per second depending on what bullet you choose um, if you have if you have either one of these molds right here you will get uh, you will get expansion. Um, as for you, country boy prepper, you know if you want to uh, if you want to shoot your rain scrap, you know um, all you really need is about 10 bhn, 11 bhn, 12 bhn max um, uh, for your rifle. I would say I would say to um, you know if you have a 300 blackout mold. Um, that you can get about 1650 feet per second with make get your uh, rain scrap cast your rain scrap don't even water quench it um, and uh, and you have it powder coat it and you know this right here was 10 bhn All right. that's you can get a bullet that looks just like this this will knock the daylights out of whatever you shoot it out of. Uh, I mean, if you're shooting a deer, it's going down. You know, especially in our kind of woods that we shoot in, under 100 feet, per, under 100 yards, 50 yards probably. You know that. Um, so, you know, that's uh, if you want a good expansion on a cast bullet. That 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 expansion is about as good as you'll find on on any factory round out there for a 300 blackout so um, anyway uh, uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put a link in the description for country boy preppers video that he done on a hunting load for 300 blackout using the Sierra 150s and I'm also going to put a link to um, the uh, one of my videos on um, I, I probably could have done three videos on that video, yeah, but I showed there's a lot of good information in there. You can scan through it, um, you know, and you can see how to get this kind of expansion, you know, um, and you can see what several bullets are doing with soft lead. So um, anyway, uh, uh, so uh, I'm going to put a link to Country Boy Prepper. And I'm gonna put a link to my other video on you know getting great expansion on these cast bullets. Um, rule of thumb, all right, is 5 bhn under your feet per second. If so, if you're going, if you got 1500 feet per second or 1600 feet per second, then you need 10 or 11 bhn. That's pretty much it. Um, that's been in my experimenting that's what I've gotten that works so anyway to save time uh, country boy you can if you uh, if you look at this video and that expansion it don't look bad you know it wasn't as consistent you know you had one um, good expansion at nine inches and then another decent expansion there at 15 so um, so you know it'll probably work it'll probably work but um but you know this one you know you're going to get full expansion at 16 inches you know complete expansion you know your expansion is going to start around two inches with a bullet like this one and all the way you know so it's going to send a lot of energy into a soft target so uh, thank you very much for my 300 blackout uh mag i very much appreciate that um, I hope you guys found this uh, video useful. Check out Country Boy Prepper, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.